Hi, in this video, I talk about the lessons that come with the Site Toolkit website. If I click on the lessons, I see that there is a list of lessons about a variety of topics, including lessons about well-known cognitive psychological phenomena, such as the Stroop effect. If I go to the Stroop effect lesson, for example, I see an introduction about what the Stroop effect is, uh, the conditions are being explained and I get the opportunity to do the task myself in the browser. So if I click here, I can run the task and it's not just that the task is being demonstrated, my response times are actually um, uh, measured and uh, at the end the uh, participant sees the response times in the different conditions. Uh, there are ideas for homework and there's reading material. So if you use such a lesson as the one about the Stroop effect in your teaching of cognitive psychology, you can bring the topic to life and you can use the data to demonstrate to the students how large the effect is, for example, or you can use their data in a statistical analysis. There are lessons about a variety of topics. There are also lessons about uh, common concepts in cognitive psychology, such as you know, what do we mean with an experimenter, a participant, what about the setup and laboratory, what is a stimulus, what is a task, what is a paradigm, what's a trial, what's a response time. Now, these are all very basic concepts, but it's nice for students to uh, look up these things and to see what these things mean when they do the tasks themselves. I think that is really what makes these lessons unique. With um, many of the lessons, there is a demonstration, for example, the Stroop effect, uh, assignment task, Posner task, visual search, and so on. So these lessons can be very useful and very powerful in engaging the students in a class about cognitive experimental psychology.